Okay, as promised, synthetic division part two. Uh, so if f of x is equal to 3x to the fifth minus 38x cubed plus 5x squared minus 1, what happens if we divide that by x minus 4? And this is a great use of synthetic division. And uh, you could actually use this to find the to find the values of a polynomial. That's not what this video is, but there, synthetic division is an awesome thing to be able to do. It's really easy. It's just kind of a, a trick. So the first thing we're going to do is put in this in, in the last video, I reminded you that this up here is x minus c. So if this turned out to, and the other thing I mentioned in the video is that we have this concern here that we know that this c value is in a box. So what number would we have to put in this box up here to make this this x minus c equal x minus 4. And I know somebody there is out there is thinking, well, duh, if you just put in negative 4. But if I put in negative 4, I'll get x plus, won't I? So in this case, it's f the value of c is 4. So we have 4 here, right? Okay. And then here, we just want the coefficient of the first term. And the coefficient of the first term is 3. And that's easy. And the next one, though, Here's the problem. It goes from 5 to 3. There's a value of 4 that's missing here, isn't it? So we have to kind of insert in here, if you don't mind, that we have 0x to the 4th powers. So we're going to put that 0 here. And then the next term should be to the 3rd power, and that's negative 3 is the coefficient of that term. We do have 5x squared. So that is positive 5 there, isn't it? That makes perfect sense. But as we move down the line, we also we need an x to the first power. And how many x to the first powers do we have? We have 0 of them. So we get another coefficient of 0. All right? And then lastly, this is x to the 0 power, and this is negative 1. So there's our negative 1. The other thing we have to remember, just as a matter of convention, is that how this mechanism works is that this thing just drops straight to there to give us our start, doesn't it? So it looks like that. And if we just drop that 3 down to there, then, of course, we get a 3 here. And from here, it's not a slippery slope at all. It's just a matter of remembering how this works. So in the first couple, I'll diagram it out for you. And we're going to do this number times this number and put that product right there. Okay? And what is that product? 4 times 3 is 12, right? So 12. So that 12 goes here. Sorry, 12. And then it's going to do the same. And then we're going to do 0 plus 12 is 12, isn't it? And then just a little bit of math here. Just going to show it to you one more time. And we get 4 times 12, 4 times 12. And that product will go right there. And 4 times 12 is 48, I believe. It's 48. And then we're just adding this value plus this one. Gives us 10, doesn't it? going to keep our math going. 4 times 10 is 40. And 5 plus 40 is 45. Well, this one kind of sucks, doesn't it? We have 4 times 45. Please tell me. It's, it's 180, right? It's 45 and 45. is 90. 90 twice is one. Okay, it's 180. Add 0 plus 180 is 180. Right? And just to make my life... Well, <laughs> then we're going to do 4 times 180. Well, 4 times... 18 is 8 times 9, so it's 720, 720, I believe. And then that gives us, add these two together, we get 719, don't we? So here's our answer. Now remember, this was our x to the fifth power. We're dividing, so we're going to decrement the exponent by 1. So these are the coefficients. So here's our answer. Our answer, p of x, is that we have 3, that's this 3, x, not to the fourth, uh, not to the fifth, but to the fourth. This is a positive 12, so plus 12 not to the fourth power, but to the third power, x to the third, plus 10x squared, plus 45x, plus 180. And I know what you're saying. What the hell is that? Well, this is what you think it is, right? If we divide something, it doesn't work out evenly, evenly we get what at the end? Right, we get a remainder. So r, the remainder, equals 719. So I hope that was helpful. There's a ton of stuff on synthetic division. Just I hope that you watched the first video and then that you kind of wrote down the pattern, you wrote down the model, because I think once you work through it two or three times, it gets really, really um, doable. So I, I hope this was helpful to you, and um, you're going to see it again. I guarantee